So let's talk about the new feature that has come out on beta in Cricut Design Space of the larger print than cut function, which is super exciting for us that want a full page or even have a printer that you can print bigger than an eight and a half by 11 sheet. So let me show you when you're on kind of any screen within Cricut Design Space. If you click up here on that left on those three lines, the hamburger lines, you can go down to settings right here. And down here on this application experience, they have beta and they have live. So live is the basic one that doesn't have this update yet. And this is only on desktop, I believe. But if you click on beta, then you can access this. So I'm just going to click on done. And then we're just going to go in and let's just go to a new project. And just click on an image. Okay, let's just browse all images. And then I'm just going to click on that print then cut to narrow them down. Okay, so let's say grab one of these images here. I'm just going to add it to canvas. So right now you'll see that he is fine. He's already a print then cut image. But if I make him, I'm just going to make him big. Actually, that's still fine. I'm going to zoom out here so we can make him even bigger. So this is 11.3 by 15.48. So well above a 12 by 12 mat. Okay, so now what happens is up here there is this nice little red warning light, the exclamation point that you can actually click on. And it actually tells you that it is too large for the eight and a half by 11 letter paper that we're using. And it's detected that the max size for this shape is 6.7 by 9.25. So what you have the option now is to auto resize this image. So if I just click this, it actually will drop it down to the largest size that it will print, which is pretty cool. You don't have to worry about it. So that is the largest size now that it can print. Okay, but let's make it bigger again. So let's say I have a printer that can print bigger than that. So again, I'm going to click on this red warning light and actually go into change paper size. So now within here, this bottom print print then cut page size, we have the drop down that we can add legal, tabloid, and even bigger. So if you have a printer that can print these, then you are in luck now. You can print these off. Just keep in mind that you do need a 12 by 24 inch Cricut mat then to cut it out with the Cricut. So if you have these bigger type things, then um, just make sure you have that mat. Okay, so let's say we, we can print this size on our printer. I'm going to click on done. And again, it's still too big. So I have to go back in and click it. And now I can auto resize it. But you can say, see how it changes now that it's too big for the A3 paper that I had selected. So now I can auto resize this. And now it's even bigger 10.3 by 14.1. So now that is, is big to cut that on. So if I go to make it, you'll see that. Is pretty big on the mat and you can actually click on this and drag them around a little bit if you wanted because this is where it will be cut on the mat just make sure when you like add another image in here do something like this and make it bigger. I'll make it really big. And go to this. This is actually set for my last page size. So say if I didn't have, I wanted to use a different printer on this one, then you'd want to come back in here and change this paper size back to the letter size. And you can always come in here in your settings and change your default so it automatically comes up for those. So if you have those larger printers, you can do that in your settings. Okay, and click on done. Because then it will auto resize to a different size than it would have if I had that larger paper setting still on there. Okay, so just wanted a heads up on that. But there you go. Now you have them set to go in a larger space.